Paranormal. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's very, very special episode of Paranormal Living. We are joined by the one and only Mr. Richard Felix. Uh, Richard is most famous as a historian for Living TV's Most Haunted, appearing in over 120 episodes. Richard is also a renowned author and also runs his own podcast, Ghost Tour of Great Britain. So, Richard, how are you, buddy? Are you I'm okay? very well, thank you. It's yeah. Extremely well. Um, oh, yeah. Locked down for, you know, best part of a year, but I enjoyed yeah. every minute of it, I have to tell you. It's not like being yeah. retired, mate. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> no, just uh, like I said, just before we start recording, thank you again for coming on the show. Really, it's My really pleasure. Good. Love it. Love talking. You know, you know, wind me up, let me go. <laughs> yeah. No, that's brilliant. Um, so obviously I've got quite a few questions for you. Great. Um, yeah. The first question I'd want to ask you is, um, what was it that opened your mind to the paranormal and what was your first experience? Oh, <laughs> fear. <laughs> now, that, you see, that's <laughs> ridiculous because one of my, fr so many of my phrases, it, it, don't fear what you don't understand. Yeah. Um, it, which is what it's all about. And so we do fear. Um so, yeah, I've been frightened of ghosts all, <laughs> all of my life, right from the age of four, um, when I played with kids that were older than me, and um, they used to tell ghost stories, and I obviously was <laughs> very impressionable. I was terrified, <laughs> terrified of, of, of ghosts, not, not frightened terrified mm -hmm. uh right. i mean for years oh, I've been, let's be honest i i did not go up to the toilet at home alone until i was 14 <laughs> <laughs> i had to be a school honest to god i was terrified of the upstairs yeah. and, and yet there was nothing as far as i know there was nothing in the house you know it wasn't we didn't live in a haunted house or anything you know which you can understand a lot of people could say yeah yeah saw things at the foot of the bed i imagine that i was going to see things at the foot of the bed because these kids yeah. told me that the green ghost was going to get me <laughs> in the middle of the night and and it just i don't know it's had this ridiculous effect on me um yeah. all of my life i i still have fear um, you probably would notice on most haunted and other programs the very infrequent times that I actually went out, went off on a lone vigil. Yeah, <laughs> because I was, you know, this is real. This is it's nonsense at, at my yeah. age, but it's still it's still with me. And yet, I know, of course, I know that ghosts are not there to get you. Mm -hmm. The profession of a ghost, <laughs> if it had one, wouldn't be to get you. No. But it, but it's that fear that so that's where it started. But mm -hmm. thank God, nothing happened. Nothing happened to me at all until I was twenty-seven. All right, okay. When I heard a ghost, ghost, well, ghost, whatever a ghost is, we can perhaps yeah. talk about that if you like. But yeah, I heard uh, a, a young lad uh, dying uh, in the in a room when there was no well, there was thirty-seven soldiers in the room with me. Uh, all asleep uh, on the sleeping bags, and I was up against the wall, and I heard this uh, this moaning and crying, and this lad calling for a nurse. <laughs> there were no nurses because I wasn't in a hospital. Yeah. Um, and, and God, it was re it was so real. And I had tears running down my cheeks listening. I wasn't fright wasn't frightening. Yeah. Um, as I say, it isn't. Uh, and um, uh, I eventually went to sleep, but I mean, it was, wow. I was not dreaming. I was wide awake. I, I'd just been in a in a mock battle. I was a uh, an officer in the territorial army, mm -hmm. and um, we'd been attacked. And I've never been I've never been so excited in all my life. I've never been on such a high. And I think that's what happened. I was on the right frequency to yeah. catch to catch this what I believe was a recording of this wow. lad dying of his wounds. And I found out later that the place we were. Uh, had been a hospital during the Second World War. Uh, there you go. Wow. I didn't know that at the time. Yeah. So that was the very first thing that happened to me. But again, guys, you know, it wasn't frightening mm -hmm. when it happened. Yeah. Is you've got this, you know what I mean? The first, the first injection. <laughs> oh God, it's going to hurt and it's horrible. Yeah. But it's never as, never as bad as you think. Mm. And it's the yeah, ghosts. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. There. See, my granddad was a medium, so I've always been brought up. Oh around. right. Oh well. Yeah, I was always brought up around the paranormal and and things, and but I've never had the look of seeing spirit physically stood in front of me. I've had experience, really? with it, but I always know it's that pre-thought of if something appears at the bottom of the bed or something oh. I'm looking in the mirror it stands there. I know I'm going to uh, run. <laughs> and everybody would. Why? Because we've seen too much Hollywood. 
Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I think people too much most haunted. <laughs> yeah, well, too much <laughs> most adventures. Too much all of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's the thing because people automatically expect you're going to see spirit, you're going to see ghosts, you're going to see everything walking around when it's obviously not always the case sometimes, like you say, it no. might be sounds, or it could be like a video recording of like a bit of a playback. Huge believer in that, yeah. Um, but yeah. we're frightened of it in the same way, in the same way as we're frightened of aliens. Yeah. We're frightened of lions and tigers and bears. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, but because we think that they're all going to get us mm -hmm. because, because you've seen it on the telly. But, you know, no, I won't go into it, but, you know, not being funny, but how how many times you know if you saw a lion, it's actually probably more frightened of you. Yeah. Uh, unless it's extremely hungry, or you're near <laughs> its youngsters. It's young. Yeah. But other than that, I don't think I've never I've never been confronted confronted with yeah. a lion or a tiger. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's it's not what you think. They're not. They don't always come and get you. Mm. And it's the same thing. But if they do on TV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you say, it's too. Because you have an hour of a program, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, and I yeah. think it, you've got to make something happen. Even Because if you go into a building and it's not haunted and it doesn't happen, obviously the TV company still wants something. And I think, well, because we've just started recording stuff for YouTube, and I, I said personally I'd rather be just more honest, because we went to the ancient ramming not that long ago. Oh, yes, it, yeah. We didn't really have much happen, and I said to well, everyone... You wouldn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's true, yeah. though, but you expect, because of what you see and the stories you hear... Mm. Yeah. I was expecting, obviously, a lot to happen. Nothing did. And I said to everyone, I said, to be honest, we didn't yeah. get as much as I was hoping for. We got a few things. But yeah. obviously, it's what you perceive before you go to that place, isn't it? And what yeah. you're told. And yeah. Everything. Yeah. See, I went I went straight into that room uh, uh, probably an hour after Stuart went yeah. into the room where he was where he was so badly attacked by... Yeah, OK. Uh, <laughs> um, nothing happened. Hmm. We, 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 you know, we, it, surely it was still there. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's going to attack one person. Surely it would have attacked me as well. But uh, obviously, obviously liked me, but didn't like Stuart. Possibly, yeah. I always wondered about that because I think sometimes in certain places, if you go in, like, you know, when people are a bit negative, like, come on, show yourself to me. If you want us to leave, you're probably yeah. going to drum up something a bit negative. Because That's it's true. Like, That's very true. Uh, it's a bit like, bit, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, went into a sweet shop. And yeah. the bloke started as, as you walked into the shop. Said, "Go on, go, go, go on, What do you want? Hurry up! Come on! You know, stop, make your mind up. Hurry up, will you? About it? <laughs> Buggy you? You'd get, you'd walk out, wouldn't you? Well, this is it, yeah. Or you'd probably punch him on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, well, yeah or you, you used what? to. Not now. You can't. You'd be prosecuted. <laughs> but it's, it's the same thing. For God's sake, there's this big word that I use. They call respect. Yeah, exactly. They and were human what... beings. Exactly. Um, like I know we. One of the things we're going to do is the Pendle Witches because um, I'm originally from Burnley, so it's around right. that area. Yeah. And I've always been intrigued in that. But again, it, they, they were people. If you do come across <laughs> something, they were genuine people. And you, they you were wouldn't. Your grandma. Was yeah. your grandma in her late 60s, yeah. early 70s, or whatever, uh, that were totally. <laughs> you know, they weren't witches, the same thing. They were Catholics. Mm -hmm. and, and they they were it, it was the church that you know because we were a protestant country and people in the villages had still clung to the old faith they had to be eradicated and removed um they were the wise ones of the village the wiccan yeah wise were craft of the wives you know and and they're probably a bit mediumistic and and um uh he healed you helped heal heal your wounds if you've got a, a you know a, a boil or something they give yeah. you a poultice for it or a, a herb of some sort mm. help you with the milk yield because your, your cows weren't weren't producing enough milk you know the yeah. wise one but they were catholics mm -hmm. and so they had to be demonized and they changed the name from wicker craft to witchcraft so wow. no wonder they're angry yeah you know old lady of it 70 something being strung up hanged and choking to death you know, a quarter of an hour before they died. Yeah, yeah I'd be angry as well. <laughs> well, that's it. And like you say, it goes back to respect, doesn't it? You know, if you want to yeah. try and communicate with these people, you, you know, you just treat them like ordinary human beings. That's what treat we... Treat them like humans. Because they, some of them still think they are. Well, they are. They were. Oh, yeah. They are. That's the other thing. You know, never mind, you know, cajoling them and swearing at them. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Uh, you don't do that. You know, you wouldn't do it to a human being, so you wouldn't do it to a ghost. Exactly, yeah, that's it, and I totally agree there. Yeah. Uh, 
we, one of the questions I do have, just because you mentioned, obviously, the first experience about uh, with the soldiers and things. Uh, yes. Do you have any psychic abilities yourself? No. Oh, no. Far from it. Oh, no, okay. I, I refer to myself as a psychic brick. <laughs> with, a, with a B. <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. It's just with the oh you. no, no. I, I that's for daft. You know, you take me into anywhere. I was oh, can, can you say no? Can the temperature? No, um, uh, no, absolutely not. I, I do not see dead people. <laughs> uh, um, but I believe that I am sensitive mm -hmm. to the subject. Yeah. Do you, do, you, do you see what I mean? I'm not a sensitive. Uh, I, I think I am reasonably sensitive to 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 the world, to people, yeah. to chill, to my kids, to my grandkids, to to animal. Very much so. Uh, mm. But 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 that's different. But um, I believe I'm sensitive to the subject, and and I believe that I treat the subject with with the respect that it yeah. that it deserves, um, and I believe because of that. Uh, I'm told this by by sensitives, by mediums, that 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 sounds like they have a sort of respect for me because I treat them properly. Yeah. Uh, and I also believe that when I say sensitive to the subject, I believe that when I'm doing whatever I'm doing, with be it seances and table tilting, glass divination, Ouija boards, all of it, I believe that that I think I sometimes know who it is that's coming through. Yeah, because I've done the research into who might still be who might be there. Yeah. So, in other words, I have a respect for them, but I also have a sensitivity to the subject. Yeah. But that's as far, honestly, that's as yeah. far as it goes. Oh no, that's uh, really cool. Um, luckily, because I don't think I could cope with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I, I understand what you mean because I know some people do say it's like a blessing as well as it's like a mm. blessing sometimes because it you can have. Obviously, with certain mediums, they have an amazing experience, but at the same time, there can be the negatives to it, where people, oh, yeah. obviously, they want so much proof, and sometimes it is difficult to give that, and I think, um, you know, that's sort of the case sometimes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm not psychic or anything else, but uh, sensitive to the subject, I think, is the word. Yeah. No, that's cool. So, going back to your first investigation, was it, was it not long after... Um, that happened uh, with the soldiers, or was it quite later? Oh, decided? years later. Years later. Well, yeah, years later. Uh, basically, it all. I think. Well, it, it all started. I, I was chairman of Derby Tourism. Mm. <laughs> God forbid. Right. Um, and I opened um, a, gra a a heritage centre myself in in the right. centre of Derby in a in a Tudor grammar school mm. that was built on a plague pit uh, and graveyard. Uh, it was built in 15, 1554. And um, history beyond anything, which is what I'm all about, but yeah. but it had a ghost of a little boy upstairs wow. um, that some workmen saw when they were putting uh, CCTV cameras in in the middle of the night. Uh, and that gave me an idea to, you know, how can I bring visitors to the city of Derby? Will York do ghost walks? Uh, why don't we try one? Uh, and so I set up the first ghost walk, which would be, crikey, 30 years, 30 years ago now. Yeah. Um, and I didn't like it because I thought, I don't believe it. Mm. I, I, in other words, I didn't believe some of the stupid stories that I was telling because I'd read, read them in books and things. Yeah. And I thought, this is, this is rubbish. You know, if I'm going to do it, I've got to believe in it. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I only did one and everybody said how much they enjoyed it. <laughs> Uh, I didn't. I say didn't. I just didn't believe what I was doing, and I thought yeah. I have to believe it. So I I spent the best part of another six months just just researching oh. the, the the ghost business with with a, a medium, a incredible guy from Derby actually, uh, Wayne Anthony, uh, who was the seventh son of a seventh son, an Irish and wow, yeah. all of it, you know, um, and learnt oh so much because he'd already written a book. Uh, yeah. Derbyshire ghosts, would you believe? So yeah, he was the man, and I learned so much from him. Um, and, and and I obviously started to believe, and I had to believe in what I was telling people. Yeah, and that's why I'm so much into tying the history in with the ghost, mm -hmm. or the ghost in with the history. However, yeah. you want to look at it, you know, to, which I think adds proof to it. 
big time. Definitely. Can't prove the ghost, but you can prove the history. Yeah. Um, and that's really where it started. So investigation, I still wasn't investigating. I was just a storyteller yeah. uh, telling ghost stories until, oh, gosh, Most Haunted contacted me on Series oh, yeah. 1 and, and asked if they could come and do Derby Jail. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So I'd, I'd also, by this time, obviously got so much into the ghost business that I was doing uh, three different three different ghost walks around Derby and had Derby declared the most haunted city in Great Britain. So it worked <laughs> big time. Yeah. Um, and I then took over Derby Jail, which was as haunted as anywhere you'll ever find. Wow. And um, they contacted me, wanted to come and do a programme. And um, I was there, obviously. I mean, that was the, the one where the, it was on series one, where, where the, the cross moved on the on the bed. The, yeah. It was an original prison bed as well in, in the condemned cell. And that was real. There's no getting away from it. I was there and I know that was real. Um, oh. and it, I mean, it only moved. <laughs> How much time? Yeah. I thought, is that it? Is, is that? Because <laughs> I had, I'd had no experience whatsoever in ghost hunting, mm -hmm. only in ghost walks, in stories, telling, telling stories about ghosts. But obviously because of that, I'd become extremely interested in it, to say the least. And, um, so so that was that was basically it anyway I, I got a phone call about a month and a half two months after they'd been uh and yvette rang me and said would would i have a meeting with with carl and stuart so, so, of course well yeah so they came back down to derby and um carl said to me uh, as the proprietor of the building mm -hmm. and as a witness because i'd seen a ghost in there um yeah. He said, "You, we should have given you a two-minute slot on the program. All right. But to be honest with you, Richard, after 25 minutes, we just did not know where to edit it. Mm -hmm. So would you like a job? And that's where it, how it happened. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and, and the fascinating thing is that he actually said to me, we are going to brand it. They, they'd actually just got rid of Jason Carl right, okay. um, after series, you know, at the end of the series. And he said, we're going to brand you as the country's leading paranormal investigator. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> well, I'm not really a paranormal investigator, you know, uh, and that's actually how that's really how it became came about, and I became a paranormal historian. Wow. Um, so up until then, Richard Felix, I've done any paranormal yeah. investigating, oh. so I can't say that I'm a. Oh, hang on a minute. That's over twenty years ago, isn't it? Now, so bloody hell. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's where it started. That's amazing. Thank you, most haunted. Yeah, <laughs> like you say, much respect to you as well. Just going back to the walks when you decided, you know, to get the information and walk yeah. around with you and get, you know, because like you say, a lot of people they just get the stories, do the walks, and that's it. But the fact that you've gone out and spent six months, you know, of your time to get these stories and get, oh, 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 oh yeah, you know, fair yeah. play. To you, but... Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, for, yeah. for instance, you know, I was stood in uh, in St Peter's Churchyard, right, and, and there's the story. This was the original one. The story of there was a murder that took place in 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 St Peter's Street, which is the, where the, the yeah. and for many years afterward, there were three poplar trees that grew up alongside by the graveyard. Uh, the murderer was never found, but these three people that were murdered on the anniversary of their death, when the wind was howling, the trees started swaying, and you saw the three faces of the murdered people in the trees and as the wind was howling through the trees the words justice was heard in the world i thought this, this is rubbish <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I, so you know did three people get murdered in in st peter street it was never found a trace not right. a trace of it. i mean don't get me wrong there's a lot of things that happened hundreds and hundreds of years ago that 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 aren't recorded yeah mm. but it was just it was just, and, and i thought well i can't tell that story I can't yeah. do that one again because they don't believe it. <laughs> yeah. And that's where it, you know, that's how it, that's how it's evolved yeah. big time into the, into the reality of, of the whole damn thing. And that's what I'm still trying to do now. You know, I'm trying to prove what they are. Yeah. That's amazing. Is, well, nobody else seems to be really looking, <laughs> sort of looking into what, you know, what, what are they? Why are they there? What yeah. happened to them that made them, be here when they shouldn't be here yeah. they shouldn't be elsewhere you know, all that yeah. sort of stuff uh and what uh, the big one of course was uh and this is what i actually found from when i did a um, i did a dvd on um 
uh, uh, well done, <laughs> 47 DVDs oh, wow. on, around the country. Um, and I was doing Ghosts of Cornwall, and this incredible lady um, came to visit, came to see me, actually. She was a medium, and she vacuums up ghosts, <laughs> literally. <laughs> right, okay. In other words, she sends them on their way. She's not very popular yeah. uh, in places like Pengersic Castle and various other places around Cornwall, because she vacuums them up. And because right. basically her comments are, rightly, they shouldn't be there. And mm. uh, quite a lot of them are there are there because they're terrified of moving on. Yeah. And they need help. And, you know, it's a bit like going to the zoo and watching the monkeys. You know, is it feeding time? Are we going to see the monkeys? You know, really, yeah. really, someone should be opening the gates and letting them out. Mm. Or trying to let them out. The same yeah. goes. She was not the most popular medium on, in Cornwall, I can assure you. <laughs> But that was, you know, she had a heart. She believed that they were, which is where I learned from it, you know, they were human beings Yeah. once and they're trapped here and, and they need send it on their way. Some of them, not all of them, some of them want to be here. Yeah. Uh, and that's, you know, again, back to respect, isn't it? Back to trying to help them. You know, why yeah, are you still here? Because you shouldn't be. But, oh, please don't get rid of them. Otherwise, all those paranormal groups won't be able to go and visit some of the haunted <laughs> locations. Yeah. <laughs> no, it does make so much sense. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, obviously, with Most Haunted, uh, how did it work? So did you find out where you was going pre-hand and then you – how did you sort of – Oh, yes. The place? Oh, yes. I, I, oh, yes, I knew. But there's no doubt – I, I can assure people, Derek, David, Gordon – um, they did not know where they were going. Mm -hmm. They really did not know where they were going. I can assure you yeah. that. Um, there's no doubt about that. Um, I, I mean, I know for De you know, because I was very, was very, very good friends with Derek. Oh, yeah. everybody's very good friends with Derek. I know, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I was very good friends with Derek, and and um, you know, he confided in me a lot. And and there's no doubt Derek did not know where he was going uh, beforehand. I did because I was the historian and of course i was yeah. given you know inf i was given information myself but that was never enough because that's mm -hmm. me all over i, I you know I'm yeah. the, like for instance you know that I, I would imagine there'd probably be in a story like the the three faces in the poplar trees <laughs> uh on my notes because that's what would have been told to whoever had researched it in the first place yeah and and they don't i'm being quite honest they don't know anything about ghosts <laughs> <laughs> um uh, and, and so I obviously then straight away, as soon as I got, you know, the the the, um, the wire as to what was where I was going, what we were yeah. doing, then that's when I started to try and find out more. Mm. Um, and uh, including when I arrived, uh, a if there was a local studies library or library yeah. or you know that sort of thing, straight, I, I was in there beforehand if i could get there beforehand and the big one of course was was when i got to the location yeah to be able to talk to the people that that knew the location mm -hmm. be it the next door neighbor or or or, yeah. or which i again i did at you know east drive that sort of stuff uh, oh. um wherever it was i tried to talk to and, and the staff the owner yeah. Know, of, of wherever it was so i i always spent time with them uh because that's where the information comes that's where the reality comes in uh yeah. talking to them about it and that's what i used to spend a lot of time doing um and then afterwards this is what a lot of people that don't know afterwards i um would spend time going back to the local studies library the museum taking the bones for yeah. instance, that we'd found. Or, you know, could anybody, could you have a look at these? Because you tell me, are, are they human? Wow. Or is it is it a fox's bones? Or is it is it a cow that we found? In, you know, what, that sort of stuff. Mm. And, and I always suggested, and it never happened, that we should do um, an after program. Yeah. To talk about it. You know, but, but that wasn't it, you see, because it's TV. Hmm. You know, and I'm not knocking this. I'm not knocking. I'm can't knock them for what they've done because they could. We wouldn't be talking now. Yeah, if it wasn't for Most Haunted, uh, and all the other TV programs that have come out since. Yeah, uh, that base themselves on Most Haunted. Uh, they've they've all they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. You know, they, we we set the scene. There's no yeah. doubt about that. Definitely. Um, uh, but you know, I suggested that we either did a, a live or or a, even a, a web chat afterwards yeah. 
to say, well, you know, Derek said that there was a man in a green coat with a, blah, blah, blah. you know, did you, did anybody find, did you find out any more about that? Did, yeah. you know, was Fred Johnson hanged in 1485 in front of the, the, the main staircase, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. And that unfortunately never happened because oh. it's TV. And that's yeah. wrong because that's what TV is about. To, people want more. Definitely, I would have loved to have seen that, the aftermath, and you, yeah. like you say, the Bonds and checking certain facts, what Derek come out with, or any of the other team. I yeah, would yeah, have yeah, yeah. Really and it just it just gives it more of the step up of, like, it's not just finished there. Look at what happened afterwards and what exactly. we found was correct. And yeah, like, yeah. Oh, what we, yeah, or we found absolutely, no, no, we didn't find a thing about it. Unfortunately, no, can't tell you anymore. But it was tremendous. Because, yeah, we did realise that da-da-da-da-da. The reason that door slammed shut was actually, we, in fact, Richard found out or Carl went to, and someone had left the window open in the same room and, and it was a windy night. And, yeah, that, you know, people would have respect that. Yeah. But, unfortunately, yeah, but I understand it. It's an entertainment programme. Yeah, of course, yeah. And it's entertained mm -hmm. big time. You know, yeah, we got we got more viewers than the Simpsons. Wow! In our in in its heyday, you know. Yeah. Um. So it, you know, there's no getting away from it. Yeah. Well done, guys. Well done, most haunted. You did a fantastic job. Well, that's um, it. And you know, they've done me the world of good. <laughs> <laughs> well, like growing up, like when I was a kid and when it first came on telly, <laughs> so I can mention my granddad being a medium, watch it with yeah. us, and especially when they did the lives as well. Like my granddad, oh, they were. Um, did you go to the Pendle Hill one? Did you do the Pendle Hill one? Oh, God, did I? Yeah, I was in, yeah, the, I was in the, uh, I was in um, wherever, I can't remember where, where we were. We were in Clitheroe Castle or something. I'm not yeah. sure. I was in the hub. Yeah. Uh, and it was like watching, it was like watching a battle scene going on. Wow. It, it was tremendous. Yeah, I did. And then we went back again and did it, of course. Uh, uh, at, um, I can't remember the name of the farm. Is it One of the farms that uh, we went back to. Yeah. I mean, you know, it was terribly exciting yeah uh, and and entertaining that is the one i remember so clearly because i was quite young at the time i was still yeah. proud i think i was in year five year six at right. school yeah. and it gives me nightmares i had a dream yes. about witches being around me but it got <laughs> everybody so engrossed by it it was honestly it was one of my favorite lives i think they ever it's got to be it was there's no there's it's no way anyway. it was um incredible no getting away from it yeah. and the lives were good um my my comments with you see again tv for you you know they, they always try to they have to take it too far and mm. and you know seven days of a live oh, in my opinion was just ridiculous one day true. one day two days enough yeah but, i guess it gets exhausting as well yeah well tv just you know you know how can you well they did they did very well to keep oh. it to keep it going during that time yeah. but you know I, I mean you know i mean, still think one one of the best was was dudley one mm. night yeah you know, one night live, but uh, they were tremendous. Funnily enough, I don't ever seem to see them on TV. They never mm. seem to repeat the lives. No. Like you say, it's only by YouTube because, of, like you say, the Pendle one. Obviously, you can get it on YouTube. And oh, yes. That. But yeah. like you say, like, it's never, nothing like you say is ever repeated. No, never, never on. I find never. that really strange. Mind you, how do you do that? Because they were so long, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, but, never, but I'm surprised that they don't run them because they were... Yeah, they were remarkable. And like you say, there was nothing else on telly, anything like that. No. I think even what's followed since, like you mentioned, Ghost Adventures and things, yeah. nothing has got been to what they were, no. you know. No, around. Is, no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. And you see the other one again. It's all back to the scare factor. You've got all these these um, big guys in black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, fr running away all the time. Yeah. Why? Why run away? Low power mode. Close low back. Hang on, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, well, I've got no, it's, it's perhaps I've pulled the charger because it's on charge now. <laughs> one done properly. Panic not. Oh, what? good. What's happened? Nothing's happened. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> that yeah, was I was gonna say, like you said, nothing had ever has ever been since to that standard. No, and, like you said, just the production value and the, the places you all went and. Some of the experiences people were having at home while they were sat watching it, you know, it just brought everybody together. And it did. It did. It's it a did. shame there's nothing like that at the minute. It also I absolutely happens. agree with you. I couldn't agree more. Uh, there is, you see, as I've been saying for years, there's room for a real, a real paranormal show. But my problem is that that TV don't really want to me because 
I tell it as it is. You know, the door slams shut. You know, let's go and have a look. Hang on, let's go and check yeah. see if someone's left a window open. Uh, or see if someone's standing behind the door. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and you go, oh, no, no, no. It has to be a scary ghost, Richard, all the time. Mm. Everyone has to be scary. They have to be demons. Mm. Uh, they have to be going, probably going to get us as we go around the next corner because yeah. that's what the public want. Mm -hmm. And, yes, I agree. I agree. They do. That's why when we go to Alton Towers, we don't, most of us don't really go on the runaway train. We, we go on the on Smiler, or you know what I mean—the the, the yeah. one that you end up with your heart in your mouth. Because yeah. we love to be frightened, mm -hmm. and we love ghost stories. Um, and so you know, oh well, hang on, Richard. You know, you you did that program, and and, and nothing happened. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, that's how it is. As like you say, what... I think sometimes honesty is the best policy. I understand, like you say, TV. But I think I'd rather watch a program and they went, actually, to be honest, nothing really much happened, but uh, this is what we got. You know, yeah. I think some people might appreciate that a bit more sometimes. They, they would. And the history of the place can yeah, often definitely. add a lot to it. Um, but there's also room for a, a documentary type uh, show that, that explains the whole reality of, of ghosts. Yeah, and I'm working on it, but whether anybody will ever take it on, I'm not sure. I don't know why I don't do it myself, really, on YouTube or something. But uh, yeah. It, it, yeah, but it wouldn't be the same. But it, you know, it need people need to. People are absolutely fascinated now by the paranormal mm. and ghosts. Oh, you always have been, always have been, but so much more since Most Haunted created yeah. this awareness mm -hmm. that that's created more, 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 more argument, more discussion more debate more research yeah. than any ghost program ever has in the past or probably will in the future but unfortunately yeah. for me it degenerated into scooby-doo yeah um which is such a shame mm. but you mentioned 30 east... oh sorry richard right. uh, you mentioned 30 east drive yeah. How did you find that? Because that's a place, obviously, it's always on the paranormal map. It's well, a place where everybody wants to go. I've right. never been myself personally. Yeah. No, I went with Chris Chris, Chris Conway. We were invited. The two of us were invited to the premiere. You know, the, they did a film Yeah. Uh, all about it. Sort of a, a bit of a low-budget type thing, you know. And they actually held the premiere in the front room. Really? <laughs> of 30, it's 30 strong. It's yeah, something I thought, you know. I terribly hate to say it. Sorry, people that own it and people that have been. But you know, I and Chris was there. We went all around the house, and Richard, uh, Chris said to me something, something like, "This place is is about as haunted as your underpants." <laughs> uh, and I went next door to talk to next door neighbours, and and they they read, they read, they got more going on in their house. <laughs> right, okay. But but there you go. You know. But that was Chris's comments to me at the mm -hmm. time. And I, yeah. I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel anything, <laughs> but nothing yeah. happened, of course. Do you think um, it could be sometimes, like I mentioned about the ramming, like with John Humphreys, was it John Humphreys who was haunted and now he's passed and left? John, John, John was the most <laughs> frightening thing there, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was glad I never got to meet him. I always wanted to meet him because, you know, obviously when he was telling, obviously his experiences, but like the same with 30 East Drive, do you think um, it was the family who was haunted by what it was and now yes. they've left and the house has changed obviously yes. I'm down yes. Lot. yes you see my view on poltergeist the first there's two questions i always ask about poltergeists right number one is <laughs> number one is are there any children in the house yeah because it's it's usually associated with prepubescent children yeah girls boys as well but mainly girls mm -hmm. that are i always refer to it as the kevin and perry syndrome <laughs> where they 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 don't their bodies are, so they don't know what's going on and the energy that they they've got that, that yeah. they use because they're so angry is is basically what think, makes things move mm -hmm. we're doing it ourselves yeah we're not far from star wars and, and use the force i'm telling yeah. you we are mentally capable of moving things mm -hmm. and causing little fires to to take place you know, that and that's energy because the whole damn thing yeah. is energy. The whole ghost yeah. business is energy. Um, and, and so that's the first question. So usually it's prepubescent girls mm -hmm. uh, in the house that are causing things to move, to happen. Because to but another phrase, today's magic will be tomorrow's science, basically. Yeah. So it's an energy thing, right? And the second question I always ask is, is it a council house? Yeah. <laughs> because, again, 
the 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 you know so the family you know you don't like the next door neighbors you don't like the road the area or whatever <laughs> your kids have got a couple of asbos or something <laughs> be careful it and 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 ba you want to move you want to move from that area the council won't move you and yeah. one of the best ways of getting a council to move you is to invent a poltergeist right okay yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden it gets in the local newspaper the local local tv take it up and before you know it the council feel that they are duty bound to move you yeah. <laughs> and it does and that, that's my take on, no, on enfield and uh east drive and and various other places um but that's me you know uh, the voice of reality <laughs> no no see this is what i like because when we do the live uh, when we do lives on the paranormal living I like people's comments, you know, when you get a sceptic on, an open-minded sceptic or someone who doesn't yeah. believe in anything, I think you get people who might see something different. I love everyone's yeah. opinion. Yeah, everyone's and, taste on that. Yeah, everyone's perception on Yeah, definitely. It's different. Yeah, no getting away from it. But so that's my take on it. But, you know, people people will tell me they've had all sorts of experiences at, yeah. at East Drive. And I'm sure they have. You know, I'm sure they have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did... Out of out of all the investigations you did with uh, Most Haunted, yeah. uh, what what was your favourite place you went to see? I know there's a lot because you did like you say hundred and over hundred and twenty. Oh yeah, uh, favourite place. Oh, you see, that's slightly different to, I suppose, to favourite haunting or something like that. Um, oh gosh, uh, come on, <laughs> come on, brain, keep going, keep going. Um, uh, Craig in Oz was was incredible in Wales. That was a belt oh, place. That was yeah. a really interesting place, and things things happened. Big. That was that was really really good. Um, that was a belter. Um, Helen's Manor, I I loved because of the the history behind Alpen Manor was was incredible. Yeah. Uh, Queen Mary, of course, was just beyond wow. beyond belief. That was yeah. you know to, to spend. Two and a half weeks on on the Queen Mary. What was it With like? Phone call to see you going to the Queen Mary and being able to. Oh, that was wow! I couldn't believe it because you know, obviously we did we did we did three three weeks in California. Yeah. Um, and it was just, I mean, it was tremendous. But the fascinating thing was nothing to do with ghosts or anything like that. Uh, while we were there, because it's a hotel, obviously. And while we were yeah. there, we could we couldn't stay over. I think it was was it mother? No, it wasn't mother's. No, it was it was. Uh, February the fourteenth, Valentine's Day. Yeah, and they, we had to move out for about three or four days, and they moved us off, and they moved us to Hollywood. Oh, Jesus. I mean, come on! Uh, in a very, very good hotel in in Hollywood, yeah. and, and that, whoa, you know, uh, yeah, that was you know, that's the beauty of the, the of what what we went to so many fantastic places. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, and go, went into places that you could never have dreamt of going, even if it was open to the public. You know, you couldn't yeah. go into some of the places that we went to and got into. Yeah, uh, and that was 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 an experience second to none. And I thank them. You know, they, unfortunately, I missed missed going to um, uh, Romania and and um, yeah, um, Dracula's castles and all oh, of that yeah. because we were do, we were going with Paul O'Grady, and mm. we literally got the phone call that we were going flying out on the Monday, I think, and he'd had a heart attack. Oh wow! Yeah, and and I missed that. That was a shame. Yeah. But oh. yeah, incredible. Some of the places we went to were uh, yeah, yeah. Do you uh, have but, a? Go oh, sorry. No, no sorry. sorry. Okay. It was just my next question. I'll let you finish what you were saying. It's okay, don't worry. I, I was just going to say that that um, it was th the historic places that you were allowed to go to. Yeah. Um, that that I found so so incredible, you know, and scary. Some of them yeah. were scary, you know. I mean, I was scared to death at Craig and Oss Castle. I was scared <laughs> scared to death on the Queen Mary in cabin three four zero. Yeah. Um, during the night, you know, so yeah, I had some belting experiences, <laughs> and yeah. also a lot of things that happened that I genuinely can't explain mm -hmm. to this day that, yeah. that happened because remember, we were in haunted, sorry, allegedly or whatever, yeah. haunted locations, mm -hmm. all of them, yeah, you know, so you know, so obviously things are bound to happen, aren't they? But yeah. they weren't always, um, they weren't always, in my opinion, dealt with. As they should have been, but that's me, isn't it? You know, it's not my show, was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fair enough. Uh, 
So what would you say was your most frightening experience out of oh. the journey through Most Haunted? Uh I think cabin three four oh. Yeah. To to be in to be in that room, that cabin, where you know murder had taken place and, and is supposed and people people fled because obviously it's a hotel. Yeah. Uh, and and that room wasn't used anymore. That cabin wasn't yeah. used. Now, you know, next next to it, cabins were used. So, you know, they were losing money. Yeah. By not having that cabin. But because so many people had reported goings on in the room yeah. uh that they didn't use it and this is what i found fascinating because you see when when i go off and do my dvds and me, you know around the country doing you know ghosts of everywhere on, on the in in england britain britain um if i'm staying overnight somewhere then i always try and pick a, a haunted hotel or a haunted yeah. inn but yeah and i also ask for the haunted room if I, if it's available yeah you know that's because that you never know do you you know, get a camera on while i'm in there that's right you never know something might happen which would be even better for the for the dvd the, the yeah. video that we've done you yeah, know what I mean? and so i always do that and what i could not understand was we'd been in on, on the queen mary for i don't know how long week and a half probably yeah and we've got this the most haunted the most haunted room and i i made this comment saying you know well, why doesn't someone stay in it overnight? And that was fatal. Isn't it? <laughs> what a mistake! <laughs> and so, I, so, of course, everyone pointed at me. I said, I'm, I'm not doing it. No way. <laughs> just, just my suggestion. And that was it. Richard's doing it. You know. Um, and that was enough. You know. And I was frightened to death. I mean it. I was. I, you, yeah. Nobody saw the size of the tumbler of whiskey that I had before I went <laughs> spent the night in that room. Yeah. Uh, so that was, that was, that front. But then again, because as you know, there was this crescendo of a noise during the night as if something was throwing, I, I talk about poltergeist, metallic sound, you know, that's what yeah. it's all about. And and it sounded as, as though something heavy that vibrated, that was hurled around the room. Wow. Um, woke me up. But you see, <clears throat> being woken up by your burglar alarm in the middle of the night is terrifying. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, but this wasn't, this, this was... I was in a haunted room. God Almighty, that did me no good at all. I'm telling you, it really did. And then, of course, we got back, and and Kieran, he said he'd got a camera running through his computer on a loop all night. Yeah. And I didn't know anything. I heard nothing. Didn't hear this at all. But then you heard on the you, know, you heard footsteps going around my bed, and this little voice going, "Mummy," twice. Jesus, you know that was awesome. Oh my And that dear. was real. That was real. Uh, that was the best experience. Well, no, the best experience I've ever had is seeing a ghost. But uh, yeah. second to that, that was probably the best thing that happened. Wow. Um, yeah, that that was right. The other frightening one again was Craig and Oz Castle. Yeah. Uh, when I went to the loo and turned round, came back and saw this what looked like a figure lying lying across my bed, and I was alone. Oh, <laughs> and, wow. You know, I, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I was awake. Yeah. I've been for pee. You know, I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't staggering around half asleep yeah. and like that and, and i and i had to put i had to pr plunge my hands onto the bed to, to yeah. prove to myself there was nothing there wow. and there wasn't and of course it was it was i was in the i didn't know the the, the room is part of the converted now but was, was part of the chapel mm. where adelina patty who was the woman that lived there the catholic woman, was actually laid out after she was dead in oh. her private chapel which i didn't know about at the time and, and yeah you know that was that was oh I tell you what, I mean it was so so bad, so bad, so quite frightening that I, I, I remember uh after we'd finished filming, uh I was waiting for, for Phil, Phil Wyman, to finish his interview. I could have gone back to my room. Yeah. Uh and he was either next door or next door but one, I can't remember which. But anyway, um and I waited and I waited and I was waiting quite a long time for him. And, but of course, it was very late. It must have been half past four, five o'clock in the morning. And obviously, I could have gone back and got some sleep earlier. But I yeah. actually waited for him to finish, <laughs> for him to walk back with me to the to the to the corridor where where our rooms were, rather than going on my own. Yeah, because I was <laughs> I was frightened. But yeah. it wasn't too bad there because by the time we got back there, it was getting light anyway. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that bothered me. It did. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, I've had some scary times on it. Yeah.
So after 120 plus episodes, it, mm. unfortunately, your time obviously no more sort of come to an end. Uh, if you don't mind, would you yeah. like to tell us about that? Yeah, well, ba basically, I mean, I'd, I'd oh, I, I'd, I'd complained, you know, I, I'd become a, nu a nuisance, I think, because I, I, you see, when a door slams shut, yeah, right, I, I wanted to after 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 Yvette had screamed. And I'd run. <laughs> it made me jump <laughs> out, yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, uh, you see, it was always a scary ghost that slammed the door shut. Always. They're all scary. They're mm. all demons. They're all going to get us later and all of that. And everyone's frightened to death. Well, that's fair enough. Because you've had your scare. You know, you, you were sat at home having a, yeah. a, a most haunted party. You know, the pizzas had come in, the lagers had come out like like the World Cup. The neighbours had come in because they hadn't got sky and everyone was sat there with the curtains drawn and the candles on, you know, yeah. terrified. Everyone jumped off the seats when, when the door slammed. So, great, I remember scared. I, I, I just wanted to be able to, allowed to go away and check and see if someone's left a window open. Yeah. Because it is a windy night and it could have been the wind that blew the door shut. That's fair enough, yeah. But that's that wouldn't be... That would not be what living TV wanted mm -hmm. because it wouldn't be as scary, you see. And that's, and I understand it. I understand it. But I knew that eventually that it would, you know, there can't be a ghost every five minutes. Yeah. Uh, and, and that was my my problem. And I don't blame you. Know, they, they basically, you know, it, it's their show, not mine. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted to be able to be allowed to do what I think I'm good at. What are we paying me for, I suppose, yeah. really? Uh, and um, so we we parted company, unfortunately, mm. which is a shame. But I thank yeah. them for what they've created. And in fact, they've done me no harm at all. They've only done good for me. And I thank them yeah. from the bottom of my heart for what they've done for me and my profile. And I thank them for what they've done for the, for the paranormal world by creating this incredible... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? You know, people are fascinated by it. And it's basically because of Most Haunted. All we yeah. got before Most Haunted was Strange But True with Michael mm. Aspel, which was very good, actually. Very. I don't think you ever saw it. No, I've never, never you seen it. You want to It's really good. It's documentary type. Yeah. It's very good. Strange But True. It's really good. And there was a series of those where he went and visited haunted locations and oh, told right. told the story. But yeah. he didn't. He, did, he didn't run out of the room and that sort of stuff. He didn't, didn't get a headache, didn't feel sick, didn't faint. He didn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see. So that's what happened, yeah, which is a shame. Yeah. But as I say, I, I thank them for what they've, you know, I miss it. I missed mm. it terribly. <laughs>